After we've finished our data extraction and JBI summary, we can now undertake various different types of analyses. The first analysis type that JBI summary facilitates is what we call comparative meta-analysis. Now I can select this by clicking on the synthesis tab, clicking on the down arrow and selecting comparative meta-analysis. The first thing that we need to do is to create a comparison. Now in this, I'm just going to use intervention versus a placebo. Once the comparison has been created, I can open that comparison and create our outcomes. So to do so, I would click create, and then I can enter the outcome title. So for this example, I will just use something like smoking cessation. After I've created the outcome, I need to select what type of data that it will take. In this example, I'm going to use dichotomous data. I can then click plot. I am now presented with a range of different options in order to create my meta-analysis. Now, each option can be selected using this down drop arrow. There is no right or wrong method as to choosing what options to create for your meta-analysis. So I'm not going to run through what is correct for your data type. I'm just going to choose a few uh, methods, models, and effect measures to show you how summary can uh, conduct a comparative meta-analysis. So for this example, I'm just going to select arbitrarily inverse variance. I'm going to use the random effects model, and I'm going to present this data using a relative risk effect measure. I will ignore custom, ac custom ac access ticks for now, and I will ignore this for now. However, I will change the experimental label to simply read intervention, and our control label, I'll read placebo. I then need to input data from our study designs into this uh, meta-analysis. And to do so, I can click here and my studies that I've extracted and appraised will appear in this drop-down box. If I select Baker, I then need to input the data from these studies into these drop-down boxes. Now, what this means is it's asking me how many people achieved smoking cessation in the intervention group compared to the placebo group out of how many people were randomized to that group itself. So I'm just gonna enter this data now for the Baker study and the Berlin study. After I've entered the data for each study, I can then click on generate. This is gonna generate our final meta-analysis. As you can see here, here are the results from my Baker paper and the paper from Berlin. What I can also do, scrolling back up to the custom, ax tixi, custom axes ticks, is change the scale of my meta-analysis. So for example, if I don't like the way that this is presented, I can, for example, put 0.25 here, and let's go something like five. I can then click generate again, and you will notice that the axes ticks have been changed depending on the values that I've put here. For now, I'm just going to leave them as they are and click generate to refresh the forest plot. I can then export the results of this forest plot as either a JPEG, a PNG, or a SVG.